Well, hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft plugin tutorial video. Today, we'll be creating a Vanish plugin. This player right here cannot see this player right here because I am vanished. If I type in unvanish, now I'm visible. And you can see this works on the top list as well, as well as, as the top completion. And if I type in vanish again, now no longer you can see me on the screen, but also you can see me on the top list. And also if I type in and I try to tap complete, you can't really see my name such that it will not reveal the identity of hidden players by accident. Are you ready? Let's crack into it. First things first, please note that I already made a skeleton command. If you don't understand the basics of this and you don't know Java, pretty much anything, check out Project Orient. It's a full course containing Java plus Bucket plus Zoom one-on-one -on -one coaching, especially for making Minecraft plugins, building ultimate servers, etc., etc. I will leave a link to that course in the video description. Now, when it comes to the actual command, I have a video specifically what are commands in Bucket and how to make a skeleton like this one. That video is going to show you how to make a command looking like this one. And today I already pasted a bunch of stuff here because I want to save your time. First of all, make sure to register the command in your plugin.yml file as I did right here. Nothing special. Again, we already covered this in that command video as well as get the command and set the executor to that specific command class in your on enable. And by the way, I'm using the same source code all over this training playlist so that, you know, you're going to see the progression and all of the other code has been already made uh, in the previous videos. So this pasted code, all it does, it'll simply allocate, find the target player. If I type in slash vanish, if the arguments are zero, then that means I literally just typed in slash vanish. We're, we're going to assume that I want to vanish myself, right? Now we have to check if we are a real player because the console cannot vanish itself. So that's why the check is right here. However, if I am myself as a player and I type in type in slash vanish, I'm just going to target myself casting myself to an actual player because we know that we are an actual player. We checked it here. Else, we're just going to target the player based on the first argument right here. And then we're just going to make sure that the player is actually online. If he isn't, I'll just send, hey, the player was not found. And maybe I can even add some nice color, say red color right here. That's pretty much it. Very basic. I assume that, you know, you will understand that very quickly. Now, when it comes to the actual vanish status, what I like to do is I like to have a private set holding unique IDs of vanished players. And I'll explain why in a second. So other YouTubers, they do a list. The list is actually verse on performance. It is slower. I've also seen people store this as a map and then they store a Boolean. I mean, that's completely pointless because you can simply check if the list contains a player, that means that it is true. Or if the list does not contain a player, it means it's false. So the best preferred method, the highest coding practice is just using a set. And if you want to push it even to the next level with your coding practices, I actually do not recommend storing any form of data inside the command class. So we would have to go inside our model class and maybe just make a new Java class right here, such as we have for a bunch of other things and place the database there. And also you can save it permanently to your disk. I do have a video about config as well. You can check that out later. For now, I'll just assume, you know, I just want to be as quick as possible, save your time. So I'll just store the set right here. And then right here, what we have to do, first of all, we have to iterate for other players other player inside a bucket and get online players. And then we have to check if the other player is equal to us, to the target, because if we are, we are not going to be able to hide ourselves from our ourselves. That doesn't work in Minecraft. So we're just going to ignore it. And then if vanish players contains the player's unique IDE, which actually can be just stored right here is vanished. So we can just store the target player IDE result inside a variable right here. So pr practically we're just checking if the sender, sorry, if the target is vanished, if we are vanished, it is true, right? And so if we are vanished, then the other player is now going to see the player, the target player. Otherwise, we're just going to hide the target player from the other player. And I hope that I didn't mess it up. Maybe it's supposed to be the other way around. We'll see that in a minute, but I'm pretty confident that this is true. That's pretty much it. Now, you can also send the target player or you can send the sender of the, of the command a message saying that the player and then the target player name is now visible 
And then AI is pretty smart. It figured out to put a condition right here. So if it's vanished, then we're going to flip it. So if the old status was vanished, now the player is actually visible. If the old status was visible, now the player is actually vanished. There we go. So we can do that. Pretty cool. And also don't forget to do the set manipulation. So if we are vanished, we're just going to delete ourselves. Else, if we're not vanished, we're going to add ourselves. And if you want to, again, uh, be a coding practices Nazi, then I do recommend you simply store the unique ID up here. And then you can simply reference it instead of calling it each time. Also call it from the bottom, just like that. Perfect. And let me go into the game. Let me test it. Okay, good stuff. So now this one is my own account. Let me just type in vanish. Now it says I'm vanished. Hopefully you cannot see me anywhere, not even in a tap list. And now I cannot even complete uh, my own name inside the tap list. There we go. Let me just make myself visible. And there I am. You can also make the other player invisible. There we go. So now it works in reverse, right? And now I basically can see the other player, not even in the chat. There is also a bunch of solutions when it comes to vanish that involve packets. I don't necessarily recommend them because bucket has implemented the system extremely well. And there's just so much less overhead to you as a developer, and you will get it done within just a few lines of code instead of having a complex, stupid solution involving packets when in reality, you don't really have to because all you have to do is implement a proper storage mechanism so that when the player disconnects and he's vanished, you just save it to a disk. Again, we have a video about that, how to save to a custom config file, and then listen to the player join event, check the config, and then just immediately vanish the player from everyone else. And then also you can set the join message to empty. Likewise, in the player quit event, you can set the quit message to empty to hide the messages that the player joined the game. That is the best practice. Again, if you want to learn more about making amazing micro plugins, check out Project Orient and it contains, I believe, 200 topics by now. It is the largest coding course. Even if you've never coded anything before, it contains the full Java curriculum that you need specifically for building micro plugins and selling them and making the mini games and all bunch of great stuff. And if you don't like it, you have full 30 days to decide to keep it or not. I'll leave the link to it in the video description. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Most people just watch and they don't, don't subscribe. So do me a favor and do that because it really motivates me to make more videos like that. And I'll see you guys next time.